Hello YouTube. Um, today I bought just some random crap. To be honest, uh, my brother-in-law told me that the Trading Post had a, another location that they had just their overstock, and that they had a bunch of tools there, and told me to go look through them. So this is what I brought home. Um, for all of it, I paid thirty bucks. I don't know if that's Good or bad, whatever. I don't really care, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> bought this coffee can full of just random, at the top of it, I seen a couple Snap-on and Craftsman uh, sockets. So I'm like, yeah, I'll pick that up. Then kind of searched through the rest of them and found some more Snap-on and Craftsman stuff that I threw in. But yeah, this is all my, uh, this is uh, SK, made in the United States, one, and then you just got your, oh, I don't know what, even what that is, hmm, but then you have your quarter inch knuckle, which never have too many of those, and it's a, uh, Made in the United States, so it's a JS11300. So I'll have to look up what the part number is at on who makes that and if it's warranted or not. Then you got a three, three eighths to a quarter inch. And then this is Craftsman. This is. Craftsman, I believe. Craftsman. Snap on. This is snap on. This is Craftsman. And this is the. It just has three ace USA. So I don't know who made that. And then this is snap on snap on as well. And then this is Maco, I believe. Mac. Sorry. And then this is another craftsman. And then all the rest of them are just <clears throat> no named either. Well you got some uh, ones that are made in the United States. But other than that, you got no name to <clears throat> made in Taiwan. Shit. So. Item is I just bought mainly just because I wanted some more quarter inch extensions and they're just these three are just cheap Taiwan and this one is a little quarter inch it's a little bit more thicker so it's probably best quality. And it's uh, JS eleven twenty zero slash O two made in the United States. So <clears throat> that was the next purchase, and then I bought this filing set. Uh, don't have too many files, so never a bad pick as a dollar for a four piece set. So can't go wrong with that. And then this little guy, I know Snap-on has their version of this. Um, it's got comes with a bunch of drill bits. Um, and then it's a little screwdriver, kind of like a pistol handle. I know Snap-on has their where. It 
Oh, it does that too. So you got a little extension. <laughs> you learn something new every day. You could, you could scare somebody with that. Hmm. That's cool. But, and then you got your different drivers. Which I'm not sure. There we go. The lock in place. Oh, shit. Okay. Stay. There we go. All right. So that's cool. I kind of wanted to get the snap-on version of that. Still probably will, but it'll hold me off for now. I bought this little driver set. It was like a dollar, just probably for around the house, and there was this extension in there, so I'll get that extension. Bought this <coughs> filter wrench. It's kind of odd, but on the Bobcats that I work on, there's a, on some of them they have an oil or a hydraulic filter that's kind of a pain in the butt to take off, and I believe this will work on there, but. If it doesn't, it was only a dollar, so. Um. Then I just bought this, just because it's got a weird angle on it. Half, half inch on both sides, open, and then the quick off. And so, you know, it keeps your hands off the... You're turning it, keeps your hands off the metal if you're up right up against it. Uh, Chinese, but uh, paid little to nothing for it. Then I bought these long needle nose pliers just because I didn't have them and they look cool and I figured I'd use them sometime. I bought these big pliers. I don't know. And then this little guy, it's a 9/16 KT alloy and steel, but it's got the little driver on the other side and 9/16 is pretty common on the skid loaders, so and it looked cool, so I bought it. Bought this little screwdriver. Getting those little, little tight places. Bought this organizer set. Comes with uh, the wire strippers. This little thing. Which tells you what kind of hole, what size of a, a thread it would be. And then just this organizer box thing. Nothing too fancy on that. Stay tuned for more tool reviews. I just bought a whole bunch of tools from Snap-on and Maco that I'll be doing tool reviews on, on those. And don't forget to subscribe for a chance to win these bad boys. So, once I get 50 subscribers, these will be given away. So, subscribe for a chance to win those. And like, subscribe, share, comment if you got any questions. And have a nice day.